What's up guys, take a seat sir here, and today I want to talk about two of the best KD padding trainings in the game, Ordnance and Requisitions. Ordnance is essentially the hard line of World War II, cheaper streaks and the ability to re-roll your own care packages, and Requisitions is like a support class, where a score streak meter doesn't reset upon death, but with Requisitions, the cost of the streaks increase exponentially, but slowly, with Carpet Bombing as the first of two score streaks to cost more than double their original cost, or the cost without Requisitions nor Ordnance. As a general rule of thumb, I've heard in the community, and concluded myself, experience, aka score, is hard to come by in this game. That's one reason I absolutely love Requisitions. It has the ability to place you top on the scoreboard, regardless of whether you won or lost the game. It also is a supplement for challenge hunting in two ways. First, all score streaks require 50 completions, whether that be a kill or a destroyed recon, etc., and with some streaks having their own individual challenges. Uh, this means that when you have a rotation down for a map or a game type or a lobby and you throw in requisitions, you can guarantee yourself three streaks towards your challenges. Second, with high kill potential streaks such as paratroopers and ball turret gunner, you can pad your KD and maintain a neutral or even high ratio game after game while going for more obscure challenges like killing with a launcher or duelists akimbo pistols. To get high kills, I recommend always having paratroopers with a combination of any of the following two. Emergency airdrop, firebombing run, carpet bomber, and ball turret gunner. As for game types, because of the high cost of the score streaks, Dom and Hardpoint will be the best. If you're a decent player, or an excessive tag scooper, Kill Confirmed can work as well. If you're a competent player and you can whip out 3,000 plus score TDMs, you can run these high streaks as well. But never underestimate the use of recon aircraft. Knowledge is power, and it benefits your entire team. Moving on to Ordnance, it works no different from the past per card line. High streaks work just fine with this basic training, but I honestly prefer mid to low streaks. If I'm just getting on for the day or want to play consistent, smooth games, I'll run Ordnance with Recon, Care Package or Emergency Airdrop, and Paratroopers. This setup also works really well in Free For All, with the exception of the airdrops, considering you move around a lot and you have like 15 enemies that also want your care packages. Now when you run Ordnance, you can switch freely between classes that do and do not have Ordnance on them, considering your score streak meter resets upon death, as it is. But with Requisitions, to maintain the score you have in your meter, you're only able to switch between classes that also have Requisitions on them. When you get each score streak once through Requisitions, they are not selectable for the remainder of the game. However, you can run Ordnance before you run Requisitions in a game if you know you can get a high score. On the Carrington 24-7 playlist, I know I can get over 5,000 point games, meaning I can start a good hardpoint match with Ordnance, get a couple score streaks and around 2,000 points, then swap over to Requisitions and guarantee my 3 score streaks for the remaining 3,000 plus points of the game, meaning I'd get possibly another paratroopers, another emergency airdrop, and another carpet bombing. These basic trainings are absolutely amazing and can really boost your overall score, KD, and possibly your gameplay. I recommend everyone to use them in those ways, but for your score streak challenges at the very least. And don't forget that any and all streaks received through care packages and emergency airdrops, both yours and others, count towards their respective challenges in this game. Go ahead and comment below if this guide helped you at all, or if you want to see a video on another topic. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, this has been Take a Seat.